Before we jump into the video, I honestly didn't know that there was another hidden egg today. I thought yesterday was the final day, but there is one more available. So let me go over that real quick before we jump into the main portion of the video. Go into the greatest mutt egg hunt. I thought there was only going to be 10 solos because there's 10 stars that you need to earn. Well, there's an 11 solo that popped up today. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, Spring Legend, you can see the description. Make way for this legendary TV icon and his iron defense. So legendary TV icon. It's going going to be Michael Strahan. So you go down to your Ultimate Legend solo challenges. I believe it's week number three. And if you go to his very first solo, you can see the eggs are there now. You go through and play this solo. You're going to get the final hidden egg for the Sugar Rush promo. And yes, it still will open up even though eggs have hatched already. What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. We got early reveals for the AKA cards that are coming out tomorrow including Peyton Manning is making his return to Mutt 24 and also with the market being so cheap right now due to the Easter eggs hatching, I want to go over three cards that everybody should be buying today to improve their Mutt 24 squad. Let's start with these card reviews on the brand new cards that are dropping tomorrow so we start with Peyton Manning, 98 overall, AKA cruise card, 73 speed, 98 throw power, short throw 95, mid 98, deep 94, throw under pressure and play action, both 99 is throwing the run, not so great at 81. We're gonna talk about how these cards can provide boost, but let me show you the Eli Manning card as well. Notice he has threat detector on there as an X factor. That could be intriguing if it's zero AP and you get it for a good portion of the game. 71 speed, 98 throw power, short throw 94, mid 97, deep 99. He also has not great throw on the run, a little bit better than Peyton's at 88. Throw under pressure and play action, both going to be 95. So the interesting thing about these cards is that putting them together or putting one in the other's upgrade path can provide some other things to boost your team or zero AP discounts. So if you take the Eli Manning 98 overall and put it to the upgrade path of the 98 overall Peyton Manning, you will get Hot Route Master on Peyton for zero AP. That's obviously going to be, be a very expensive move, but with Hot Route Master for zero AP, is it worth it? Maybe. I think the opposite opposite side of this is not going to be worth it so if you take the 98 overall Peyton Manning and put it into the upgrade path of Eli Manning you would get fearless for zero AP that ability was great last year this year doesn't really seem like it's necessary so I would stay far away from making that decision you can do it if you want I just certainly would not upgrading both items and placing them in your lineup and the way I'm reading this means like if you wanted to put Peyton at quarterback one at the 88 uh, 98 overall and then Eli at 98 overall in quarterback number two spot that's going to boost plus one speed to everybody on your team that has a team chemistry now that plus one speed boost will not apply to the chiefs and 49ers likely because they you know they got so much love in the super bowl promo instead they will get plus one acceleration but again the way i'm interpreting this and let me know if you disagree or you think otherwise down below in the comment section if I were to put Peyton at QB1, Eli at QB2, there's some type of chem that I can activate to apply a plus one speed to all of the Eagles players on my team. And I would assume that would be on top of the plus two speed you could potentially get for having a full 50-50 theme team. So they're trying to bring back theme teams from NFL teams a little bit with this one. And I'm not mad at it, but it is going to be very expensive. Both of these players will have a motivator chemistry, kind of similar to Creed Humphrey's AKA card and Charles Cross, the left tackle with his. These motivator chems are going to boost at tier one, plus one strength and pass blocking to the entire offensive line. And at tier two, it's going to go plus two to awareness pass block power, pass block finesse, and then plus one to pass blocking. Let me know down below in the comment section, are you going to go after either of these cards because of the boost or just simply because you want one of them on your squad? We do also have an LTD in Denzel Ward. Very happy he got an upgrade, but I'm not going to lie. This doesn't look like a 99 overall card to me. It looks a little lackluster. 98 speed, which is great. 97 acceleration, 98 agility. I think the main thing that's throwing me is the 93 zone coverage and... I get it. He is a man-to-man -man archetype. They gave him 98 man. But if you compare this card to the primetime Deion Sanders legend, ultimate legend that came out yesterday, which is only a 98 overall, they're pretty similar cards. 
except for the fact that Denzel Ward has 93 zone and Deion Sanders has 98 zone. So this one, you know, it's not a terrible card, but for a 99, you just kind of expect better. We'll have to wait and see what ability discounts he gets. It looks like he's going to have bottleneck as that AKA X factor that will likely start on for a while and then turn off and then come back on. But speaking from a perspective of somebody who runs man coverage the entire game, when I first saw this card, I got excited because I figured he'd fit in my scheme very well. And now looking at it a little more, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what those discounts are. But I just don't see him being worth the price if he's like a million coins plus when you can go out there and get Deion Sanders for much cheaper. The market right now is incredibly low on a lot of cards. We put out a video earlier today going over all of the Easter eggs that hatch and everything from the Sugar Rush promo. And it's obviously caused a huge market crash. There's a couple cards that I believe all of you should have. And I have a separate YouTube short that'll be dropping later tonight on this Bo Jackson, but this is like number one, the main card that everybody watching this video should go out and get. I don't care about your reasons on why you don't have it. You need to ignore those reasons and go get this card. It's just way too good, way too game changing. And for under 100, uh, 100 250,000 coins, I mean, you just really can't beat this price. It's combined Bo Jackson. Somebody just bought it. Whoever just bought that is a really smart person. Don't make the mistake of buying the card that has the alternate card art. That one's going to be more expensive. And literally, that's all. All it is is alternate card art. It doesn't do anything different. So make sure you get the one that looks like this one right here on my screen. And there's a, a, a certain ability set up I would recommend. Unfortunately, if you're on old gen, you're not going to get access to the Angry Runs X Factor. If you're on a next gen system, you definitely want to equip that. Look at the attributes alone. 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 96 change direction, 94 trucking, 97 brake tackle. His catch is pretty low, but I've never had a problem with him dropping footballs. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But with this card, the perfect ability setup is going to be the Angry Runs X Factor, which is going to cost you one AP. This turns on nine plays into the game. After that, it stays on for the remainder of the game. Unless two people are tackling him at the same time, he's likely going to break the first tackle in every run. The only other counter to this is going to be secure tackler or tackle supreme on defense as far as abilities go. And you don't see a ton of people out there with those abilities, though they should start using them if we get more anger runs X Factor running backs. And I think we're eventually going to see a rehash of the AKA Quadfather or Gus Bus or even the Cordero Patterson from last year. So you want to start gearing up with some secure tacklers and tackle supreme players. But this is one AP. This is game changing enough. And then he also gets evasive for zero AP, which he has really good juke move. And if you're not holding down turbo, you're going to get that baby juke animation. That plus having evasive and not costing any AP is, is definitely huge. If you want to throw bruiser or tank on there as well, you can if you got a little AP free. But for me, the main setup I rock with is angry runs for one and then evasive for zero and he's the best running back in the game and he's only 250k must have card number two is actually going to be two cards and i'm going to give you a couple options but with all of the unstoppable force pass rushers out there you need at minimum a left and a right tackle that gets secure protector and if you can get it for zero ap that's what i would recommend so andrew thomas at 400k yesterday was a pretty good price you can see he's down a little bit and if you try to get this card earlier in the day he was even less expensive right around 340 350 so he is creeping back up 370 would be a great price even 400k is a great price but i totally get it a lot of people can't afford that one the reason this card is so good is not only does he get the secure protector for zero ap but also he gets linchpin for zero ap which gives you stronger blocking from all of your offensive linemen it's essentially like defensive rally but for the offensive line so that's zero ap secure protector is zero ap Boom, you got yourself two really good abilities for a total of zero AP. And if you can't afford this card, it's a little bit too expensive. You're going to have to buy a left tackle that unfortunately costs one AP as far as secure protector goes. Now, there is a free option in Andrew Whitworth coming from the season five field pass. If you've earned this one, this is an okay card. Andrew Thomas is going to be better. Uh, but if you can't afford that card, this is an okay card to use mainly for the fact that he's going to give you identifier for zero AP. And then in that second to last bucket, you do 
do get Secure Protector for one. Again, this is a perfectly fine card. Andrew Thomas is just going to be better. And if you haven't reached that level where you got the free Andrew Whitworth, Garrett Bowles is a pretty inexpensive option out there that has pretty good attributes at left tackle, but he's also going to get you that Secure Protector for one AP and the last ability bucket discount here. And then also you can throw on Identifier on him for zero or Lynchpin, which again is going to impact your entire offensive line. So this is a really inexpensive option under 200k right now. A lot of the 96 overall combine champions are. So if any of those cards you may have been targeting, Justin Simmons, Brian Arakpo, one of the best pass rushers I've used this year. He's under 200k. Isaiah Simmons, a little bit over that. Really good user. DRC, if you run a lot of man coverage for 160k, an absolute steal. So those are just some other side mission cards that you can go pick up today that are really good. But back to the must-have cards. We talked about left tackle. Like I said, we're going to give you two options here because we got two different positions. At right tackle, Rob Havenstein is definitely the guy out there. And this card, again, really inexpensive, about 240k. Might be able to find him a little bit cheaper because of today's market. 97 strength, 96 awareness, 97 pass block, 96 run block. But if you take a look at his card in that last or third to last discounted ability bucket, he is also going to get Secure Protector for 0 AP. So that's the only 0 AP ability that he's going to get without having to spend a little bit more coin. He does have some 1 AP discounts over in this bucket. Never huge Edge Protector and Secure Protector together, by the way. Secure Protector is basically a better version of Edge Protector, and Edge Protector is really only good against Edge Threat, which isn't really a common ability that a lot of people are using. Now, to unlock this bucket, you are going to need a high elevation token. Hopefully, most of you are playing the game during the Genki Force Pro where you earn two of those high elevation tokens for free one was in the field pass i think the other may have been in solo challenges but you apply that to his upgrade path that's going to give you the secure protector for zero ap the third must have card and we'll close it out with this one is a only but goody this card is still extremely good Super Bowl Warren Sapp. I mean, he already has amazing attributes for a defensive tackle. 90 speed at that position is really good. 98 block shed, 95 power move, 94 finesse, 95 strength. Strength is really important on the defensive line. But he also, like most of the cards that are overpowered right now, is going to get an X factor and change, though. This one, you do have to have a Super Bowl lighted up token from the Super Bowl pass portion of this promo. If you don't, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to take full advantage of this. But once you have that token, you can turn on Unstoppable Force, and this one stays on for the entire game. I'm sure most of you know this by now because this card has been around for two plus months and you've probably run into it a million times. But for one AP, you get that Unstoppable Force. That's going to cause havoc. And I've faced so many people who are terrible at the game, but they use her this card and just cause so much havoc and headaches pass rushing on me. You can be that player too. Go annoy people. Go use a rush with this card with Unstoppable Force turned on and you will probably win more games than you normally do if you're not using this card. And remember we talked about Secure Protector earlier, or Secure Tackler, I'm sorry. Well, he gets Secure Tackler for zero AP, which is really, really good. And then at the defensive tackle position, you normally want to have an inside stuff ability out there. He's going to get that for one AP. So you get 11 on defense to use one on Unstoppable Force, one on inside stuff, and then still go out there and use Secure Tackler for zero AP. This card, I think last I looked, was under 100,000 coins. It's about 124K right now. That is a ridiculous price. I know it's only a 95 overall, but don't get hung up on overalls. This card still makes plays against me and for me every day that I play this game. You need this card on your team. And those are three cards, maybe four if you want to count the, the two tackles that you should have on your squad right now that are cheap in price because of the market crash. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.